Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. The registrar of political party under it has come out to hit hard on Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta's initial NDC that was conducted at Rescos Ngong Road. As I remember very well, I analyzed a video here telling you that Kenyans, the battle of Jubilee Party is a battle that William Ruto has come out to convince the registrar of political party and Ruto to assist him destroy Jubilee Party live life. I remember also adding say that this battle of Jubilee Party, the way I realized that Andy Ritu now is the tool of William Ruto hitting hard Uhuru Mege Kanyata to ensure that he's going to destroy Jubilee Party is a cause that it might bear a successful fruit. So in this video, I want us to look at many criteria and the possibilities of Uhuru Mege Kenyatta and also this Jubilee rebels. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, we are having a fundraising to support Nurdin Salash, to go, uh, who is going to take the kidney transplant. And after reaching out this channel, and he is the supporter of this channel also, he is requesting with a humble heart, after he has come out to manage to raise 1 million Kenya shillings, plus the addition of NHF, he is requesting you to assist him raise additional 1, 1 million Kenya shillings to make him take the kidney transplant at Medihill Hospital, Parklands, Nairobi County. And he is coming from Kajado. So if you're willing to support the way I'm displaying the number below the screen, you can do that. I will appreciate so much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, number one, <coughs> the way the news is just in, as the registrar of political party under it has come out not to accept the resolutions of the NDC of Jubilee Party held by Uhuru Mege Kenyatta and his camp is that when you look at the disagreement that is continuing to rise in this Jubilee Party, I told you that there is a possibility of Uhuru Mege Kenyatta losing this battle. And I gave you an example of Andy Ritu, who is the registrar of political party, venturing into this fight and absolutely he has come out, she has rather she has come out to take the side supporting William Ruto. So Andy Ritu is the only option that William Ruto has to destroy and scatter Jubilee Party into several pieces and of course William Ruto is succeeding by using Andy Ritu because at the same time the NDC that was conducted by Uhuru Kenyatta who is the party leader recognized party leader as per the list that is in the register in the office of the register of political party and Andy Ritu knows that very well is uh, Andy Ritu is coming out to reject the resolution, resolutions from the NDC that was held by Uhuru Mege Kenyatta. At the same time, the same same Andy Ritu is coming out to tell Kenyans that the owners of the party are now Jeremiah, uh, in, uh, rather Kanini Kega, Sabina Chege, Joshua Kutun, and other Jubilee rebels. And this comes after also again when the Secretary General recognized Secretary General as per 
the registrar of the office of the registrar of political party Jeremiah Kioni came out submitting the resolutions in the office of the registrar of political party you were told that under it pull out a document that was showing that she had already recognized that Kanini Kega was acting general secretary general of jubilee party and um, Sabina Chege was the party leader of jubilee now when you look at those rhetoric stories you will realize that William Ruto is successfully taking jubilee party through Andy Ruto because Andy Ruto has come out to show her true colors that if it is going to be a fight then let it be a fight even she came out threatening Azimio that let her meet the Azimio team in the court that she is ready then with all means Andy Ruto has has come out to show an indication that she is definitely going to fight until jubilee party is going to either taken over by william ruto ruto's brigade or the jubilee party is going to be destroyed now is there any possibility of uhurumege kenyatta's brigade and team to come out to start another new political party another thing if uhurumege kenyatta is going to succeed take over jubilee is there any possibility of this jubilee rebels to just start their own political parties to come over the storm of Urumege Kenyatta's new political party or rather jubilee party what happens is this something that is coming out sensible because according to my opinion <clears throat> i was like if this is now the fight that william ruto has ventured into through and who is the register of political party who should come out to defend the rights as per the constitution of the political parties then i think ohurumegenye kanyata through his brigades jeremiah kion they should come out to start another political party and this political party might be a storm in mount kenya region and this political party they must <clears throat> definitely groom it like a mount kenya political party as rift valley is having uda we are going to have our political party is there any possibility as per <coughs> let me say as per the way ground is so hostile is there any possibility of people coming out to accept that move by Uhuru Kenyatta taking over because what I know definitely, definitely is that uh, William Ruto will not accept this jubilee rebels to abandon the fight and to start their new political party which according to him William Ruto is not comfortable with. What William Ruto is comfortable with is that he must take over Jubilee party. Through this Jubilee rebels. Through this Jubilee rebels. And as long as he is so um, definite to take it, then according to my opinion, I encourage Jubilee those who are now in Jubilee, Uhuru Kenyatta and his brigade, let them come out to start a new party that, go, that is going to build in, build in roads where no one will come out to say that now this is our political party. Watch our wachia wakina Sabina Chege, Jeremiah Kiyuni. Let the Sabina Chege go and uh, uh, sell the, the, the Jubilee party in Kenya Kwanza. So that this should be a lesson. Let them take all the resources that is in the party let them leave the shell to the sabina chege and kanini kega and by the way jubilee party as we speak now is not popular the way it was 
So let them start another political party. This might be at least a big advantage if, according to me, I could reason the way I'm saying, let Uhuru start another political party. This might rescue those who are willing to serve in different capacities because in the constitution of the Republic of Kenya, it is encouraged, encouraged that you can come up with any political party that you want so that you can feel free. Multi-party is encouraged and also stated in the constitution of 2010. So this is the idea I think these people should have. But in any case, when you look at, uh, of course, these um, Jubilee rebels, if they are going to start, I want to say this is going to be a storm. Because regarding Ashago will not be comfortable. At the same time, they are being endorsed in Kenya Kwanzaa. What happens? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much.